The presidential fold. This is the most formal of the pocket square folds. It's the perfect choice for a job interview, black tie event, or any occasion that requires a suit. A solid white pocket square is an excellent option for this fold, though you can bring in other colors and patterns for a more casual look. To get started with this classic fold, first take the pocket square and fold it in half. Continue to fold it in half again and again until it is small enough to fit inside your jacket pocket. Now the fold line is the part that will be sticking out of the jacket pocket, so be sure to get a nice, crisp fold. Be aware of your jacket pocket size. You want to avoid the pocket square being too wide, too narrow, or too tall or too short for your jacket pocket. If you need to adjust the pocket square fold's size, when you're doing the final fold to determine the width, adjust it as needed to fit your pocket instead of just folding it in half. For the height, fold it more or less until you've reached the needed size. Put the square in your jacket pocket, making sure that roughly a quarter to three quarters of an inch is exposed. Now, I always think that the pocket square will look best if it follows the slant of the pocket as opposed to being straight across. And finally, make sure that the pocket square isn't sticking out in front of the lapel. I think this just kind of looks sloppy. It always looks better if it's tucked behind it. The scallop fold. This is a flashy looking fold that will get you tons of compliments. It's a more casual style though, so it's the perfect opportunity to bring in brighter colors and patterned pocket squares. To get started with the scallop fold, flip the pocket square so the inside is facing up. Take the lower left corner of the square and bring it up to the top right corner. Now take the lower right corner and bring it up to the top left side. You will now take the right corner and bring it across until you're at the edge of the left side. Repeat this step on the left side, bring it over to the right edge. All that remains is to place the square in your jacket pocket, making small adjustments until you are satisfied with how it looks. Now, depending on the size of your pocket square, you may find that it's too wide to easily fit into your jacket pocket. To fix this, simply fold a little on each side until it fits comfortably in the jacket pocket. Now, there aren't really any definitive rules as to how much should be showing when you wear it. So the rule of thumb here is to avoid the extremes. You don't want to have way too much out there. You don't want to have it hidden. Instead, go for a happy medium, something that you're confident with the look of. And make sure that scallop fold doesn't spill out in front of the lapel. I always recommend tucking your pocket square behind the lapel for a cleaner look. The puff fold. Are you in a hurry? Do you want to have more of a sprezzatura look? Then the puff fold is all you need. This is the fastest and easiest pocket square fold out there. Also, it's personally my favorite. As you can guess, the puff fold is a more casual style, so have fun with a wide range of different patterned and colored pocket squares. To get started with the puff fold, lay the pocket square on a flat surface with the outside facing up. Gently pinch the middle of the square and lift it off the table. Use your other hand to gather the fabric, then fold it more or less in half lengthwise. Now place the square in your jacket pocket. You may need to make some minor adjustments here or there until you're happy with the look. Because it's a casual fold, understand there aren't any strict rules as to how much of the square should be showing. Again though, avoid the extremes. We don't want it spilling out. We don't want to have it hidden. So go for a happy medium, what you like the look of. And even though it's a casual fold, guys, I don't recommend having it spill out in front of the lapel. This just looks sloppy. Instead, for a cleaner look, make sure it's tucked neatly behind the jacket lapel. The two-point fold. The two-point fold is a great option when you want something that's a little bit more eye-catching than the presidential fold, but on the same side, you want to keep it simple, understated, classy. Start the two-point fold by laying the pocket square on a flat surface. If you have a relatively large square, you'll want to fold it in half once lengthwise and again widthwise. If it's a small square, you can proceed to this next step. Orient the square so it's facing you like a diamond, not a square. Take the bottom corner and move it up to the top corner, but keep it just slightly off center. These will be the two visible points of the fold, so adjust it until the gap is as large or small as you want it. Now take the sides of the square and fold both of them in so it will fit properly in your jacket pocket. Fold both sides equally to ensure the best look. Now turn the square so the side without the folds will be showing when you're wearing it. Now place the square in your jacket pocket. You want it deep enough that the points of the triangles are showing but not the vertical edges of the square. And make sure the square fits the pocket properly. You don't want it too narrow, you don't want it too wide, too short or too tall in your pocket. 
Adjust the fold to the left or to the right if the width is off or bottom to top if the length needs to be fixed. The Winged Puff. This is a very unique looking pocket square fold and it will be sure to get you lots of attention and compliments. Now it's also a casual pocket square fold and so it's the perfect choice for bringing in a variety of different colored and patterned pocket squares. To get started with the Winged Puff fold, lay the pocket square on a flat surface, flip it so the inside is facing up. Fold the square in half, taking the top corner and bringing it down to the bottom corner. Now take the right corner and fold it down to the bottom corner, then do the same with the left corner. Flip the square over, then fold in the sides and bottom. Now how much you fold on this step is determined by the size of your jacket pocket and the size of the pocket square. Next, place the square in your jacket pocket. You may need to make some small adjustments so that the slit in the middle is as wide or as narrow as you like. Now for the best look, I recommend having about 2 to 2.5 inches of this fold peeking out of your jacket pocket. Great looking fold, right? This one definitely can be visually striking and I think takes a little bit more confidence to wear, but when you can pull it off, guys, you are going to get compliments all night. So what video to watch next? How about how to match your pocket square with your outfit? Gentlemen, I've got you covered with that video right here.